in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I am Engineer Hami Kamil, and in this video, I am going to talk about uh, vector group test. First, what mean of vector group, and next, our second point, how we can test vector group inside. So let us start. From vector group, we will verify or we can get information about high voltage winding connection, this delta, star, or zigzag. Same also, we can know low voltage winding connection, same delta, star, or zigzag. Or even we can know if this transformer is auto transformer or two separate uh, winding transformer. Also, we can know the voltage phase shift between high voltage side and low voltage side and this point is very important so uh, we can use it in parallel operation later because uh, some vector groups cannot cannot be cannot be working parallel to each other now we have transformer uh, 67 MVA 132 over 13.8 kV and dy in 1 what means dy in 1 d, uh, d means the uh, high voltage side is delta y n means low voltage side is star and neutral have a pushing over port out to make external connection one uh, y, uh, y in 1 means low voltage side lag high voltage side by 30 degree so let's see this by make running so we can see here or phase and high voltage side angle is minus 5 and in low voltage side minus 40 we can move loads so uh, our phase and high voltage side is minus 5 degree low voltage side is minus 75 degree so almost uh, 30 degree is difference and high voltage side is lead low voltage side by 30 degree this uh, this means uh, this is what uh, dy in one means it means high voltage side lead low voltage side by 30 degree if we put some loads just more uh, angle will increase due to the voltage drop and more increase in phase shift between high voltage side and low voltage side but it's clear now in no load condition for uh, side testing and if we have dyn1 transformer inside we have two methods or two ways to check vector group first way to use test equipment and it will detect the vector group and it will confirm it second method will use three phase supply and by some connections and some measurements we will we'll, uh, check some equations if this equation satisfied this means the vector group is okay if the if the equation is not satisfied this means the vector group is wrong in my video we will check by three phase supply and the equations we have three phase supply, red, yellow, blue, and here we connect transformer uh, winding, transformer bushing, high voltage uh, side to one cable, <coughs> red, yellow, blue, or one U, one V, one W, and low voltage cable to U, to V, to W, to N. We connect to TV to make this easy. For vector group, our vector group is dy in one so, here is the procedure, we will connect 
on you is to you as you can see we'll make connection between on you and to you and we'll make voltage measurement as per uh, the required voltage measurement for equations and if equations verified this means the vector group is right for our transformer dyn1 and by drawing the vector group diagram we can see that h2 x2 is equal to h3 x2 and equal to h3 x3 and all this will happen if we connect x1 to h1 same also x1 x0 plus x0 h3 is equal to uh, h1 h3 so if all these equations is verified this means the vector group dyn1 is okay so we'll take the measurement we'll check the equations and we'll see the result we'll make power on and we'll start to take the measurement as per the table and we'll start recording the measurement and uh, put the values in the equation and I'll check if verified or not after we finished all the required measurements we can check the equations now we can see the equation already satisfied this means vector group dyn1 is okay and finally and not the end thank you for watching my video and it, i hope it meets your interest and for watching next videos please subscribe my channel you will get notification and see you in next video